Sir, the reactor has accepted the modified call. I will begin running diagnostics. Hi all, welcome to my hobby room, welcome to John's model making. Today we've got issues 19 and 20 of Bill the Iron Man from Fan Home. Now there's not a great lot to do, as we already know. There we go. Let's get on the shots, there we are. We have done these before, obviously for the right arm. Uh, we have got another two issues on the left arm and then we need the hand to attach to it, which will probably be in next month's uh, delivery. But uh, in the meantime, Let's have a quick look at the comics. Here we have Crash and Burn, Too Many Enemies. We've got Iron Man, Deathlock. And on the other page, got Iron Man against the Hulk, Venom, and a couple of more characters here, which I can't remember who they are. Against Venom in Iron Man, Volume 1, 302, against the New Warriors in 303, and against Thunderstrike in Iron Man, Volume 1, 304. All three by Len Kaminsky and Kevin Hopgood. So, and these are in the Hulk Buster uh, suits as well. Making a few enemies. And here we have the instructions. Now, what I wanted to point out about the instructions was these two discs here this is issue 19 it, it does actually give you a better description in the write-up whereas in issue 9 it never mentioned uh, the difference between the two pins on these discs but it does on this one so somebody's uh, proofread it correctly this time you just had to guess on the last one because I did get them the wrong way around thinking that they were I did it didn't mention the fact that one was uh, thicker than the other so you can only point in one way anyway uh, and where this black mark is here is irrelevant the description about it because it only goes in one way anyway and there we have the blow up of uh, what we've um, what we will be completing the exploded view and here we have Black Panther and the relationship he had with Iron Man uh, it went sour due to Black Panther being accused of spying on um, Iron Man and the, the US government. Um, so, but now I believe he's the leader of the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. What goes on about their relationship and how they overcame the problems that they had. The fight against the Red Skull. And here we have another problem for Iron Man. Captain America. They went to the wedding of the Black Panther who was uh, marrying Storm and they both had to leave because they were being naughty and they fell out. And on the last page return armour for a new century. At the end of John Byrne's run in charge of Iron Man writer Kurt Busiak and artist Alex Ross introduced a proposal for the series that included new armour Designed by Ross, it was never used until Iron Man Volume 3, Number 1 arrived. When the computers say over, I feel like a puppet inside the armour, but there are times when it's the only option. Iron Man. Cracking stuff. Love the artwork. There we go. Epic issue, Iron Man Volume 1, Number 301 in the Crash and Burn Saga. Beginning in this issue, the final victim will be Stark Enterprises. When recalling this stage, writer Len Kaminsky remarked that Stark believes in the business model based on altruism, that earning profits is not incompatible with doing the right thing. There we go. Next issue, build the left shoulder joint. Iron Man 3 special section. Excellent stuff. All that being said about the comics, let's get on with the build. And here we have issue 19. Let's get my knife. We also need the arm. Let's see if this comes off. Very little noise. Not too bad. And here we have the parts. I think they're all plastic. Okie dokie. So we have 
the left forearm cover the elbow cover um 19c round cover l1 19d round cover l2 no they do have l2 and l1 on and those location pegs are different sizes so it will only go on even though they printed l2 on there and l1 on there they will only go on one way anyway all right so like i said not a great lot to this so basically all we do here is one two three holes three pegs and snap into place and that has gone lovely that that is really nice excellent stuff and then we can pick up l1 which is this one and if i get this right that goes can only go one way again it will snap into place and two pegs so there's no break on those get them lined up there we go do 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 pull this one on here yep there we go snaps into place no problem and basically now this will only go on one way or should only go in one way and top is there so therefore yep it goes on there like so that is that issue completed excellent stuff if you have a look at the uh, right arm there we go there we go yep they're opposites opposites attract excellent stuff on to issue 20 there's our parts This is the movie special. I am man, the man behind the armor. We all remember Killian, who um, invented that uh, drug extremis, I think it was. And I was, he was rejected by Stark on one New Year's Eve and then came back a different man. And also, we have the Mandarin, who is a bit of a joke character uh, in. Uh, Iron Man 3 the film quite hilarious actually as we can see Killian and here we have the additional sentry suits of Iron Man which he called upon to defeat Killian along with Pepper Potts and we have the instructions for what we need to do and then we have more extremists in Iron Man for the 21st century more on Iron Man cracking artwork again and on the last page the last page yep again more of Iron Man this I upgraded Iron Man to I upgraded Iron Man to his melon demonstrating his new capabilities make me the Iron Man inside and out on his down the old and new Iron Man following the trail of Malon the the terrorist with extremist powers Iron Man intercepts him on the highway but his superhuman strength speed and resilience are too much for Iron Man the armored man faces a biological weapon and loses you're going to burn inside that suit when this hits you the terrorist spits before escaping victorious excellent stuff well and here we have the next issue build the left shoulder joint to the mandarin's hands excellent right 
let's get on with the build here we have the parts again this is doing exactly what we've done before you know, the pads the friction pads and all these parts are plastic I remember that right screws and nuts there we go right we have the shoulder joint two joint washers joint cover l2 joint cover l1 they do have them yep stamped in l2 l1 uh, fm screws two times 13 mil with nuts there you go 20 friction discs so First of all, place one of the adhesive friction discs 20 as shown on one side of the shoulder joint 20 here. We basically put it on the front and the back. The centre will pop out. There we go, like that. Pop the middle out. Bing. There we go. And then we just need one on the other side. Just like that, get it centered, pop it out. And then we need the washers. They're rather generous with these friction pads, so that's good. That one's a little off center, but that's probably why they give you extra ones. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, so we want uh, L2, L1. Now, what we need to do, because we've done the friction disc parts, is fit a joint washer 20B inside joint cover 20C and another in 20D. And we basically want them that way. So we have. There's two on these uh, giant washers. There's two tabs, one on either side, and basically it stops it from moving once you get it in the correct place. And then the little pad just come off my finger. If you put it on correctly, that is. Um, just. Where are you? There. That seems to be moving. Oops, right wrong, that's why. That's better. There we go. Like so. Now, what we need to do is to join all this together, basically. And we need this here, like so. That's on. Um, Oops, so there's it there, like so, and this one will be easy if it were like that, actually. Let's get that in there, and marry that up, like so. There we go, you can feel the friction there. Right, that's everything together. Right. There is one nut and a nut shaped hole there so that can sit nicely there and then 
pop in the long screw and tighten it up there we go that is issue 20 complete now let's have a look we have there we go obviously that screw can be untimed yeah it's a little bit stiff that John Whoop, there we go there we go you do want a fair bit of movement obviously there we go that is that complete assembly of the left shoulder joint well that's it not a great lot to do in them two issues um, if you like that please give us a big thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get a notification of all my future videos please have a look at my um, playlist see if there's anything else of interest for you and until next time take care stay safe bye for now i'm sorry this is the fun v the humdrum v is back here